go. Hi everyone, I'm Denise O'Malley, the founder of You Define Wellness, and welcome to another edition of Defining Wellness, the author series. What I'm doing is introducing you to some of the You Define Wellness network providers who have authored a book on health and wellness, and um, add it to our library that you've probably seen, or fingers crossed that you have, that is of more than 70 different titles and authors and um, speakers and presenters so that when you're on your wellness journey, when you need help, we're a resource for you. So it is my pleasure today to introduce you to one of our newest authors, um, Julie Smith, and her book is called Conquer Foot Pain. And Julie, thank you very much for being with me today. Thanks for having me. So this book, and I'm showing it now, um, Tell me a little bit about it and how it came about. So, let's see. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to write about. I, I've known for a long time that I've had at least one book in my head. Yeah. And, uh, and I went through a process of kind of figuring out an outline and kind of feeling what, you know, source connection was telling me to do. And, yeah. um actually went through a really good uh, series of lectures to uh, really get a good idea about what needed to come out. And as that was coming out, it was really uh, your feet are where we start. I mean, that's where you connect to the ground. Yeah. And if you have happy feet, you have happy people. And <laughs> if you have unhappy feet, you have really unhappy You're people. right. I've never thought of that. Um, so, so it's, you know, it's, it's really as a, a base and um, kind of a little bit of background about me. I started my bodywork journey with reflexology. So really concentrating on feet. So now I've sort of gone feet to feet, which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of going into it a little bit more, it was like, okay, feet are really important, but most of the time, foot pain isn't actually in the feet. So how do we figure out where it's actually coming from, which is where the book actually came from. So conquering foot pain is definitely um, part of that. The cat wanted to get in the middle. Our, our supervisory uh, experience there. Um, so really getting to know the rest of the body. So it's a, a way to really get an understanding of um, how your body's functioning, how your posture influences everything. And the tools that you have at your own disposal so that you can do something about it rather than needing to go to a practitioner every time. And so really understanding. Yeah. So it's, it's targeted towards foot pain because that's a big issue for a lot of people, but it's really a body's user manual. So wouldn't it be nice to have that when you were, you know, 10 and had you yeah. fall off the bike or something? Yeah. Um, so really trying to break it down, help people understand uh, multiple different areas of influence in the body from um, emotional contributors to actually, you know, things like stubbing your toe and how it all interweaves to, together. So they can um, really get to a point where they understand um, what's happening, mm -hmm. what they actually can do. There's suggested exercises and activities and and things in the book and then also knowing when you need to seek outside help and what kind so you're not running the medical mill of being referred to all these people and nobody's actually telling you anything mm -hmm. uh, useful uh, so that you can you can maximize the use of your time because none of us have enough of it yeah no kidding on that one so, <laughs> um, now I'm curious how long it took you to write this uh, so the genuine answer is 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> it's been an ongoing, like one of those keep adding information to, yeah. uh, to everything. Um, when it actually came to um, doing the outline and, and really getting into the nitty gritty of it, um, it was about three months of concentrating on the outline and, and all of that, and then going through the editing process. Actually, keyboard time was probably about 24 hours, which is oh. kind of crazy. <laughs> when, you, when it was time to write it, the words just came, is what you're saying. It, that's exactly, exactly it. 
uh, one of the ladies um, that was helping me in the journey um, has a, a system of tracking kind of what state you're in. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you track it, you can you can mimic that. Mm -hmm. uh, so whatever you were wearing, how where how, wherever you were sitting, what kind of tea you were drinking, all of that stuff, because um, all of those things contribute to what state you're in. Mm -hmm. And when you're in those higher flow states, it just comes. Like mm -hmm. I, I type pretty fast anyway, and I was typing way faster than I would normally because it was just coming. I didn't. I wasn't thinking about it. And there was a period of time where I went back to edit. And I was reading it because I hadn't read it before. And I was like, who wrote, when did I write, who wrote that? That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I had that happen. I, it's a um, fun experience. So it is. And it's like, oh, oh, hey, I know some stuff. Cool. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, was a, it was a pretty positive experience. Right. But it was really all of the prep work and layout that made it possible for me to write it as fast as I did. So um, for those watching this who don't know anything about who you are and what you do, what gives you the experience and qualification to write this book? <laughs> um, foot pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a little more than that. I know that. <laughs> um, I have a background. Um, like I said, I started in reflexology. I added some massage therapy going into the medical side of things, kinesiology degree. Uh, motor learning and neurological reprogramming kind of specialization in biomechanics, so how the body works, adding physical therapy. I've had um, all kinds of um, various training around the world, Thailand and France and England and here. Um, so like alphabet soup wise, I have lots of different certifications and degrees, which mean I know how to do a lot of weird things. Mm -hmm. um, I have an active practice, so I help people kind of solve pain problems all the time. Um, and even more so, I've solved my own pain problems, particularly mm -hmm. feet problems. Um, I share some of this in the book um, as well. I was training for a triathlon, and I was doing some speed drills with flippers, and then I went and did my run, and I actually fractured my foot oh. uh, in the process. And so it was truly like pain in my foot, but the fracture came from a further up in the system. And it took me a little bit to kind of break that down and figure out why that actually happened. I didn't get to compete in my race. And I, I have since done one after that, but smarter about it. Mm -hmm. um, I've had some knee stuff that ended up causing foot pain and then solving that and kind of going through all the pieces. And some of the education that I've gone through has actually been to learn more about what the heck is going on with me. Mm -hmm. So I feel like solving my own led me into more wanting to help other people solve theirs. So um, adding, adding more education just makes it a little bit easier to figure out what's happening and what's possible to solve it. Yeah. So do you find that with your clients that um, they're a little bewildered and surprised and confused when you tell them that it's not in your foot, it's in your hip, it's in your whatever it might be? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole notion of where the pain is, isn't where the problem is, is just this weird foreign concept. And, you know, when you, when you start toe or bump your knee, you rub it because mm -hmm. it hurts. Them, right. Um, and so that we have a kind of innate um, reaction to pain and we attend to it right mm -hmm. away. The longer it's there, we start to ignore it, which is a whole nother problem. But um, really going through a, a in-depth discussion when they come to see me or in the book as well, I do this, um, where it breaks down the systems. Because our body isn't, I mean, we're not just an elbow. Even when you're taking a drink, it's not just one motion. It's a bunch of complex motions happening together, and it's a simple thing. Mm -hmm. um, so learning the system and then and then by by actually looking at the body in that way instead of my foot hurts mm -hmm. you're looking at you know is can you feel something else is something else uncomfortable has something else been bite you know does your ear ring on that side or you know whatever um it starts to make more sense um, it, and it, i i sort of put it in the way it's kind of counterintuitive mm -hmm. where we want to just attend to the pain point right. instead of at everything else but when you start looking at everything else it actually makes more sense than just attending to the pain point so. 
you know, um, I just to validate what you said, I'm married to a massage therapist. And so when I will go to him and say, honey, I, I, this hurts over here. Would you work on it? He goes over here and it's like, no, 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 no. I said it's over here. It's over here. <laughs> Right. Right. It doesn't make sense. So you're doing, you're educating them as to how that body works, and that's fantastic. So is this being used, or can you see it being used as an education tool in the schools, or where would you, where do you see the market for the, your book? So this one I intended for just the average Joe or Jane. Um, I feel like. The, the notion of bodies in pain and the, and the whole medical community, whether it's um, alternative or traditional, or I think they're backwards, um, yeah, this can be a little daunting. And, and the way that our um, kind of exposure to it in the, in the medical model that we have and all the insurance and stuff, it gets overwhelming. And you have to go, you know, being passed from person to person because yeah. you might not be with the right people. And that's what I mean by knowing who to go get help from. Mm -hmm. um, it gets, I don't know, it gets really frustrating. And so giving people a, a source of information yeah. that's been simplified and, and kind of spoon fed, you know, step by step, um, kind of takes that daunting experience out of it. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to empower just your regular people to, to be able to do something and know something and know better about um, helping themselves, um, both actually doing it themselves or actually seeking help. Right. Um, so I really want just regular people to be able to use it. And so yeah. that's really where I was, I was putting in for me. Cause I feel like it, there's so much information and it's so convoluted and it gets so overwhelmed and you can diagnose yourself with death with Dr. Google. <laughs> that, that I think that having resources like that are really important. I may eventually go into uh, a second or third book that becomes more textbook like, mm -hmm. purpose training, that kind of thing. But this one really was just here's this, this is for my people, my, my clients, yeah. whatever. I don't like any of those words, my people, mm -hmm. so that they have. A, a sensible resource it's it's a fairly short book it doesn't it there's no tech words in there so you actually understand what you're reading as opposed to being talked to by a surgeon who do you know 75 big words that you don't know what they are so you know it this fits in perfect with um on our youtube channel we have a series of videos that we did called the Con defining wellness confab and we did it in july 2019 and the in the theme of it, the underlying theme, was teaching people how to become the director of their own healthcare. A, it saves money because you're not bouncing around from specialist to specialist to specialist trying to figure it out. Right. Um, but it has to be, you know, where do you go get to the, the correct education? Where do you find the correct resources? Right. And so you're someone who has put out a, a book that they can put on their library to essentially help work through figuring out where they're supposed to go but then you're also a resource that they can come to you as a as one of your people mm -hmm. uh, to work with you now do you work only with people in your office or are you able to work with people nationwide where how, how are you working with the public so right now i just work with people in the office okay I'm, I'm working on developing a, a program, actually, it's, it's almost done, where people can come online with me and do my book with me. So oh, I, that's great. So the, the, the system in the book, I call the vital me system, because we all want that. Mm -hmm. um, and so you actually have, we'll have seven weeks with me, where you have an education call, and then you have a Q&A call so that you have time to sort of soak in whatever we were talking about in that section. You'll have time to kind of review with the book and then you have access to me to ask all those questions. So I'm looking to expand to a wider audience where they don't actually have to come in to see me. Um, and then kind of moving from that program, if they want to continue doing an education program, we'll look at that. If they want to actually come in and do some work with me and then you know, work through the, the program maintaining what they have, Mm -hmm. um, all of those things are, are becoming an option. So 
Fantastic. I <laughs> hearing that's available. And I'd love to get that word out there to people because, if, you know, one of the things with the, uh, our company and, and um, a network of health and wellness practitioners, you guys are more valuable to the universe and to our ability to promote you when you can work with anyone anywhere in the world. Yeah. And that's, those tools are so important to get out there so people know that they have access to them. And more and more is going online through technology. For sure. Well, the, the education piece is super important because people really want the, you know, the, the nuggets, but the questions are, are really the, the resource, like yeah. having access to my brain mm -hmm. to answer the question or to, to sort out, you know, does this piece go with that piece yeah. or does this happen? Um, I feel like that's a really powerful tool. And I want people to be able to contact me with questions and have actually a little, a little nugget in the back of the book that allows them to be able to contact me. And that's fantastic. So where, do, where can people find your book? Uh, so currently it's on Amazon. Okay. Uh, just um, searching Conquer Foot Pain. Um, I actually put Renee in there because there are a lot of authors, <laughs> Smith, um, and not so many that spell Renee the German way. Correct. Uh, so that's there. Um, uh, but Amazon is is currently the only place I have it. Uh, we are getting ready to do a big um, push and launch and then the hard copies. And uh, I think they're going to do both hardback and soft uh, for the initial launch. Uh, and that will be in bookstores probably in about six months. Oh, that is such an exciting thing. Um, I am also showing right now your contact information. So uh, if you want to reach out to Julie and work with her, ask her questions, uh, talk to her about her book, um, please buy it first. Uh, there, here is her contact information. Boy, what a valuable resource and great tool that you are giving out there to the universe. So kudos to you for doing that and putting that there. That's fantastic. Um, the website like has a... The mm -hmm. website has a place on there where it, it will allow you to send me an email as well. So it's got a contact that way if that's easier. So Okay, that's awesome. And um, what have we not covered that you wanted to make sure got into this video? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Okay. I feel like people need to know that they can empower themselves and, uh, and you're providing a lot of resources for that. And hopefully this is a really good addition to that. Um, yeah, no doubt. I think people really, you know, they should be in charge of their own health care. And uh, the, the, more, uh, the more practitioners that kind of get on board with, with empowering the person instead of empowering the system is, is better. So this is really definitely targeted for that. It is very much so. And for those of you who are watching this, I mentioned this at the very beginning, but if you go to YouTube and put in you, as in Y-O-U, define wellness, you will find our YouTube channel. We literally have more than 70 videos in there and it's growing every single month. And these are health and wellness professionals that we have vetted that are able to share their expertise in typically short little videos like this one. Some of them are a little bit longer, but you will find a whole wide breadth of information on there. So please check it out as you are journeying on your path to wellness. And Julie, thank you very much. I appreciate you doing this with me today. I wish you the utmost success. Okay. With book. I have no doubt it's going to be fantastic. And I'm looking forward Thanks. to that online course. And I'm ready to set up my beta program. You'll know. <laughs> okay, sounds good. And for All everybody right. else, we hope to see you on another video soon.